Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software of CCTV industry. Today we are going to discuss about only on with device manager ODM. So basically in this video we are going to discuss with you what is on with device manager, what are its feature and functions and after that we will tell you that what are the minimum system requirement, how you install on your system and what are the advantage and how you use on your device manager. So keep watching till end, please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So first thing is that how you get on view device manager and what is on view device manager. On view device manager is a software application used to administrate network video servers and cameras within the CCTV system. This video describes the product installation, video encoder, network and analytics configuration, the software update and troubleshooting. This video is intended for the personal responsible of administration of CCTV systems and separate network video surveillance device with the help of Unwish Device Manager. If we are discussing about minimum system requirement, before that, I will tell you by using Unweave device manager, you can access the live view of the camera, you can see the multiple channel at a time, you watch, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ option, you save the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. And you take the backup of many things, okay? And by using it, it's, it's work like a IP map finder. Okay, for example, if you have a multiple camera and you want to know the IP of the camera, you, you, do, not, you do not have any tool and your camera is on view supported, almost all the cameras are on view supported. So by this, you can able to find your access. Okay, so let us start that what is minimum system requirement for its Windows 7, 8, 10 or 11. And I don't recommend Windows 7 because it, it is discontinued by Microsoft. You have Microsoft.NET Framework 4 and you have at least 4 GB of RAM. You have at least 1 GB of free space on your hard drive. And similarly, you can run on Mac OS. Okay. So let the solid first. So for installation, I have already, already downloaded the file and I will share the link from where you can download the uh, this this installer file so basically here is our installer file so you, for that you should go to the website cctvdesk.com and search for on if device manager and over there you find the um, download button links and you can also view that how you can access this on web device manager this is basically a very very important tools because by using this tool you are able to access all the things what whatever you did by logging the camera okay just right click on that and click installed it is installed when you click installed it is installed so this is the interface again just close this button and then open this this is odm comes on your screen when you install it just open this when you open this you find that all the net cameras and network video recorder on your network you find all the all the cameras over here okay for example if you have multiple camera if you want to search then you are able to search okay in my case i have installed i have installed I have connected one camera with my network. You can find it IP address. So this on your device manager works like that. You don't need to IP finder tools. If you don't have IP found, founder tools, just use on your device manager. It will detect all the cameras, even all the cameras, because all the cameras support the on protocols. So just click on that. And here you should enter the password means default camera password or username and password of the camera if you convert it from default. So 
I have a TVT camera. So just log in it by user username and password and click login. When I do this, you find that it's login. You said if you log in as admin, just double click again, single click on that. Here you find the screenshot. So you can see all the things from here without help of uh, TVT IP finder tools. So you can access all the things. For example, when you click on here setting option and you want to take a snapshot, then here you found able to find the snapshot. Look here if you find enable a snapshot, enable plugin, just click apply. Okay, now it will take a snapshot. So the first option is identification. When you click on that, you can rename the camera name and everything is mentioned is there. For example, here you find that camera name, you can change it, all the thing, manufactured customer, here you find, here is a model number like 9TD9524S4L, this is the model number of TBT, and you can search it, for example, just copy it and Google it, you find the manufacturer. Copy it and search. Here you find that basically this is TVT camera. Okay, so one thing you can do, you can find the what, who is the manufacturer of this camera. If you don't know, if you have any unknown camera and you want to know it, then you can use it. Okay, like this. And, and all, not only this, you can also find its hardware its firmware, its device ID, you can find its IP address and you can find its MAC address and here is on wave version and this is the URI by using this you are able to log in the page okay the so first thing you should know that if you have any unknown camera you want to know the manufacturer and you want to know the model number and firmware version you can do it and by using the device id you are able to access it on the tbt software for example here is just copy it and just open the tbt software as i have already uninstalled it tbt software and just skip it just click add when i click and add Here just click on manually add, here just click on IP domain or anything like serial number and copy the serial number and here admin and here you enter the password, click ok. So you can do it, even you can install it by using a local IP address. Here is the IP address like 192.6.1.11. Okay. You can add in the software like dot eleven. Okay. This camera adds anyway you can add it on your camera screen okay so now I'll go to the time setting here you can change the time setting like whatever you want. Just click automatically adjust the daylight and time changes. Sync with the computer have option also. And now go to the maintenance. Here you found the all the things like soft reset, hard reset, reboot, 
upgrade even you can click on upgrade if you want to upgrade the any any camera you can do it by this okay and here you are the net network setting all the thing like this of here is local ip address all the thing is here host local host is there and port is 80 rtsp port is 54 and here you find that is default ip address 192.168.226.21 this is the default ip address of the this camera okay now here you find the user management like here is admin is a username role administrator now you can create it and you even you can modify it for example if you want to create it just click it just click on the create and here just click admin one and here you insert the password again you repeat the password and here is your operator user at the click on administrator click apply click close so here you found the two admit two administrator here you find certificates if you have any certificates like ul listed camera and all this thing you find here like here you find web page okay here you find the web page of the camera but in the case it here it installed is to install plugin if you are installing it first time install that plugin and it will run sure i already do it that's why it didn't come otherwise you fine here just user use username and password just click login your camera comes live okay so even you can log in with the user we created and here you find the events like motion alarm analytics service motion detection all the thing you find it from here okay here you find the live video here you find the video streaming that he it, it this camera have two resolutions like H.264 90 22 1080 cross 720 all the thing you find the default frame rate is 25 fps battery is 204 jubilee link is 50 and here you find the image setting so here you can focus is manual you can change the brightness you can you can change the color saturations you can contrast set change the color you can change the sharp sharpness vertical balance exposure mode exposure gain all the thing you find it here okay so you don't need to log in all the things by the login the camera and again just click analytics here you find default analytics is there now click on the profiles this camera has two profiles you can see the profiles all the thing video can source configuration video source one all the things you can find it here okay so basically this is use if you don't know if you don't have a default ip if you don't have a ip tool and you have any unknown camera if you want to know it that uh, how you it, what is the default ip address who, who is the manufacturer if you want to know these kind of settings then you can do it by from here okay so hope you know that how how we manage this and one more thing you can do by this tools for example if you camera if you have a hick vision camera and it you want to add it, it on the UI and VR and sometimes without with, with problem you can not able to add it then you you there is a dilemma in your mind that whose error is this so if you install the camera and search on the on your device manager and it will give you a video like this it means that this camera when you log in it you find this here screen this is screenshot it means that the camera runs fine then you need to take support from your 
a network video recorder means dawa so this is the clarification that if it if device if any device is omit supported then it can show in the image here so you can do this thing from here also and you can see the camera details from it can detect any camera means any manufacturer any any brand you can find it okay so hope you understand it well that what the purpose of use it have many purpose according to your need that how you can uh, use it but in my opinion it is one of the best ip finder tool it is one of the best tool to know the manufacturer it is one of the best tool to change the network parameters so and when you click it log out here you find the setting also here you find for the like this help button copyright 2011 odm is a free software distributed under the gnu general public license okay contact info is is there and you can find all the things from here okay so this is all about this hope you understand thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day